testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We're back with our second episode of Quick Hits. Um, we did an earlier show today on um, Richard Comey, uh, who is the main event, now the main event of the ESPN fight after some bad news about Vlasov, and now we have some bad, bad news. Uh, in our second show, to share, uh, I don't know if you, Jojo Diaz missed weight by almost four pounds. The fight's going to go on. Uh, unfortunately, um, Jojo Diaz will not be able to fight for the title, and Rockamoff will be at a sizable, no pun intended, weight disadvantage. Uh, but before we get into the details on that, please like and subscribe. Smash the like button. Um, again, two shows a day. I know there's been some audio issues. Guys, I'm working on it. Um, but like and subscribe. Share all, all forms of social media. Um, and again, if you're looking for that kind of content, that amount of content, two shows a day to keep you guys up the latest on uh, in the boxing world, please like and subscribe and share uh, with a friend. Share it all from social media uh, because that's what we're doing. We're doing quick hits, two shows a day, about eight, ten minutes. Just keep it real quick uh, for you guys. Um, so today's second show, again, to get into it, uh, unfortunately, uh, Jojo Diaz uh, is no longer world champion and won't make a defense of his 130-pound IBF belt. Um, again, he missed weight so badly by almost four pounds. He weighed at 133.6 for a 130-pound fight. That California rules don't even allow him to try and come back and make the weight. That's how bad he missed weight. You know, typically they give you two hours um, to come back and try to make weight after you've missed it, but th th there's a two-pound limit there according to California rule, uh, rules. He missed by 3.6 pounds. So it's like you can't cut that weight in a healthy fashion in two hours. So you just don't make weight. You just can't fight uh, for the for the title. You lose your belt. Um, additionally, he was fined $100,000. Now, you guys would think that $100,000 goes to the guy he's fighting, Rakimov. It's not how it works. $50,000 if it goes to Rakimov. The other fifty thousand goes to the goes to the California State Athletic Commission. Somebody explain that to me. How California gets to enrich itself, all right, of somebody missing weight. So you you're saying something a mismatch. Somebody broke the rules, and because they broke the rules, you enrich yourself. Again, how is that reasonable? How does California give themselves a dime? Shouldn't all the money? All of the hundred thousand go to you know the guy risking his life tomorrow night, risking his life to bring revenue and entertain, entertainment to California. Shouldn't that guy rock him off get the full hundred thousand dollars? But somehow California, because they created a mismatch, thinks they they, they deserve fifty thousand dollars of Jojo Diaz's money. Jojo Diaz didn't trespass you. He violated the contract with Rockamoff and the IBF. Why would California get a dime? It really makes no sense. Um, <laughs> this is a problem, though. Now, if I'm the IBF, I'm done with letting Jojo Diaz fight for a world title at this weight class. I mean, there's just no more point in it. Look, he didn't miss the weight by .6. Right, he didn't miss it by point two. It's a scale issue. The scale of the bathroom that he was on. He just got to go sweat this off real quick. This isn't even like the first time he missed weight when it seemed legitimate. He just couldn't make the weight anymore. He he missed it by three point six pounds. He never attempted to even make the weight. He's done with his weight class. It's not like he missed it by a pound or half a pound. He missed it. He didn't even try. And now he walks in with this huge advantage of a rock and who's with him for the fight of his life in the first place and now has to deal with this. Guys, if you don't see why this is a big deal, I don't know what else to tell you. He There's a reason why you have to make weight. Jojo Diaz had one job, be a professional, make 130 pounds. He comes in at 133.6. He should not be allowed to fight again. The IBF should say, no, you cannot fight for this title again. You can't make it because you missed it by three and a half pounds. You're either way too big. Or you have no interest in making the weight. Either way, you can't fight for this. You can try to, you can try again at 135, but you can't try to again at 130 because you can't make the weight. You, you've showed us that. 
It's a major problem. Jojo Diaz had a sensational performance in winning this title. One of the best performances of 2020. I remember, it was uh, in 2020, early in 2020, in January before the whole pandemic thing. And he, he absolutely took the fight with Jojo Diaz. Right? You go back, you look at him. He's got the Kobe jersey on, right? He's, wearing, he's rocking the Kobe jersey, the Kobe 8. He had a Kobe-like Mamba mentality performance. He, that was a sensational performance where he took the fight to, to Terry Farmer and was not going to be denied. He had that Mamba mentality in him that night. I don't remember Mamba, you know, the Mamba doing things like this, right? And, and, and like, Jojo Diaz had a one world title shot prior against Gary Russell Jr. where he gave a valiant effort and came up short. A little short against Gary Russell and, and a good competitive fight where Russell was just too skilled for him, but he gave it everything. This was just so unexpected from Diaz. And then Diaz missed weight at 126, but then he moved up to 130. Yeah, this, this is tough, right? Because we all root for Jojo Diaz to a degree, right? He's a likable guy. He's a good guy. He's a good story, an Olympian. Um, and then he does this. And on top of it, he's been whining and complaining on Twitter about how Golden Boy doesn't get care about him, that Golden Boy treats him like a second-class citizen. You know, um, they don't mention him. Now you've given him all the ammo in the world to continue to ignore you. You don't have a world title, and you don't have any interest in making money. You're not taking your own career seriously, so why should they? I mean, I don't understand why he did this. So can someone explain to me the upside of him coming in at 3.6 pounds overweight? What does he have to gain from this? He's already unhappy with his promotional company, and now he's given his most of the company, every reason to continue to ignore him because he's not taking his own career seriously. You got one job, make weight. This is a, a, a major problem. I don't care because there's so many belts. I'll just get another one. There needs to be repercussion. Rockaball shouldn't have to take this fight. Rockaball shouldn't have to have this conflict where I take a guy, uh, I fight a guy who's cheating and taking a huge advantage, putting my life on the line, or I lose my entire payday. There should be a security policy put in place where, look, Rock and Moth, uh has a hundred thousand dollar purse, right? And then he's getting another fifty from from JoJo. Rock, there should be an insurance policy put in place where it's like, okay, Rock and Moth, you get sixty grand, sixty percent of your purse if you think this is ridiculous, if it's just too big of a size disadvantage, or you'll get one hundred plus the fifty if you do fight him. It's up to you. You can do what you want. But to say that you get nothing if you've done your job because the other guy didn't do his job or you have to find a guy with a huge weight advantage who didn't bother to make the weight, who didn't bother to comply by the rules, who didn't bother to live up to the contract is, is insane and immoral, and that needs to stop. And then California, for some reason, enriches themselves off of this. Guys, are you up and as I am? It was such a sensational performance. We all like Jojo Diaz. We all want the best for Jojo Diaz. But when y'all are upset about Tank Davis missing weight over and over again or AB missing weight over and over again, you better have that same fury for Jojo Diaz because it's no different. Let me know what y'all think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Um, am I overreacting? Are you as hot as I am? Are you upset as I am? Great week of boxing. One fight. Nothing we could do about it. This fight, you should be upset with Jojo Diaz. Um. Follow me on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Remember, two shows a day. Uh, we're coming at you with two quick hits a day just to keep you up to the latest on boxing. It is February 12, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. That needs to stop. That needs to change. Um, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.